Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, February 22nd, and I'm gonna take a deep breath. Another month has gone by so fast. Granted, it is the shortest month of the year, but everything is happening so fast, and I think because we have so much going on, my daughter's getting married this weekend. We just had her bridal shower this past Sunday. We had it in our backyard, which our backyard is always nice and clean, but my husband did a few extra things to make it even more beautiful. He did a barbecue. He had carne asada. I made Puerto Rican rice. We had Mexican beans and salsas. Everything was just so delicious and so perfect that even though I forgot my macaroni and potato salad until after the bridal a shower few minor details and I was like oh my god but you know it wasn't missed because everything was so perfect and delicious so yeah and it you know it's been stressful because like I said trying to keep everyone and everything safe even in this bridal shower bachelorette shower that is in two days and for the rehearsal dinner and of course the wedding has been extremely difficult but again we have pulled together we have pushed through we're going to make this wedding as beautiful and as special as we can for my daughter and her fiance um you know it's going to be um small and intimate but it's going to be beautiful so i'm excited Part of me, I have mixed emotions because I'm sad and scared to lose my baby. She's my baby. Um, we, she's my best friend, my right hand, my confident, my partner in crime. We do everything together. So, and even though our family is going to always, as, as it always has been, uniquely bonded, that will never change no matter what. The family dynamic still changes because they get married, they live in their own houses, they form their own lives, but yes, but yet we definitely keep that bonded um, closeness no matter what. So it's just like your family dynamic just change, does change, but you still try to do everything you can to stay in that uniquely bonded thing. And we always have done that. We always will. That's our promise to each other. Um, so yeah, so I'm just afraid that I'm going to walk in her room and she's not, not seeing her, not seeing her stuff is really going to get to me. So I'm tr I've cried a lot. I'm trying to stay strong. I suffer from mental illness, which I suffer from depression, anxiety, and stress. So I have a lot of great tools to run to. I'm very spiritual, very prayerful. So I'm leaning on God to keep me strong and to get me through it. And just to try to see the positive or, you know, the new exciting things that are to come. But at the same time, you know, allowing myself to miss her, of course, and to go through the sadness, to go through the process, and that I'm going to come out on the other side and be okay. My fear is going through depression and mental illness is, am I going to fall into that dark hole? Am I going to be able to pull myself out of it? So I can only continue to be spiritual and prayerful as I've been. I read my Bible. I read devotionals. I pray like you wouldn't believe. I'm very prayerful. And so I have all that to lean on and God has always come through for me. And so I'm a journal. I love to write journals. Um, I read devotionals. I'm right now, um, this year wanting to build a special meditation place and space so that I could run to that and not just, you know, pray in my room or do things here in the home are like in just in the room. I want to have a dedicated place, just like I have an altar for our parents and our dear, dear loved ones, um, which I also want to design and do a whole new altar as well. That's one of the things that I have planned for this year. Now that my daughter's leaving, um, I'm going to paint all the rooms. I'm going to keep the living room, the kitchen, dining room the same, even though I have revamped my entire house starting in 2019. I bought all new furniture for every room including the bedrooms. But now that she's getting married, my son's going to switch to her room because he likes that her window faces the backyard and he kind of is tired of seeing the side, which is what he wanted at first. Um, but I'm going to make sure, you know, if there's any thumbtack holes, anything that needs to be like a little corrected, correct that. I'm going to have it professionally cleaned. I have a carpet cleaner, but it only does basic. I want a professional cleaning, taking advantage that all the furniture is out. I'm going to paint it. I picked this beautiful soft color that I'm going to paint both rooms and the bathroom. I I got all the new bathroom stuff to be ready to put in once it's painted. And so I'm looking forward to that, looking forward to do creative things and going to creative places with my son. It's going to be me and him. We always had a unique love and bond. My son is autistic, but we especially are going to need, be, need to be there for each other because of the sadness of me not having my daughter here in the house with me and him not having any more siblings. We're going to keep each other strong. We're going to be there for each other. He needs me and God knows I need him. So... That's kind of where we are mentally, emotionally. Um, but yeah, so the bridal shower turned out great. Um, 
forgot a few minor details, but that's okay. Um, we got through that. Now I'm looking forward to in two days the Bachelorette, which is also going to be special. My daughter's hosting it. Um, and then the rehearsal dinner, which is on Friday, the day before the wedding. You know, just practicing, making sure we know where to go, what where to be, decorating the place and seeing that unfold. And, you know, having that rehearsal dinner together, just the wedding party, the parents and the wedding party, and just enjoy each other's company. Um, and just looking forward to the day after her wedding. Of course, I'm going to take you on that entire journey. Um, I have so many videos that I'm editing that I'm trying to upload. YouTube is giving me a hard time. I've just uploaded two videos that's been trying to upload for three days. And it's still not uploading. And I've had that problem for a while now. I don't know what's happening, but it's frustrating. Because i got so many more in the editing um, process that I need to get up. And I feel like I can't get them up until those go through. So... You are going to, I am going to take you on this whole entire journey. Um, and of course, you know, update you on once my daughter's married, um, what does life look like for her now? How those rooms turned out when I paint them and redecorate them, what we're doing, life updates, mom blogging, lifestyle blogging, just everything about me and my family and our life. So anyway, let's move forward because this, I've been wanting to do this video for so long. My daughter told me about this test. And as you probably know, we each have our own personal cloth face mask collection in our rooms. Um, my son's is all his characters, Titanic, New York, um, all the characters that he loves, holiday ones. Mine's is, mine's are flags, Puerto Rican flag, American flag, Mexican flag. I love shimmering blingy, so I have a lot of those. I have some that say fully vaccinated. You're welcome. I have Bible verses ones. Things for special causes like autism awareness, breast cancer awareness, celebrities. I have Jenny Rivera, Selena. I have the John Lewis coat. I mean, you name it, different patterns, I have it. So we're going to test to see if we pass the lighter test. So in other words, I'm going to put on the mask the way it is. I'm going to try to blow. If I blow that flame out, that means it is not as layered as good as it could be. And it's not protecting me 100%. But you don't throw those masks away. If you do this test after... I showed you on this video, if you know about it, do not throw the mask away because what doctors and scientists have said that any mask is better than no mask. Listen to me carefully. Any mask is better than no mask. So don't throw them away. You have other options. You could either double up by putting an extra mask on top. And if you don't want two heavy ones, put a light disposable mask on top, either on the top or the bottom of the mask that you have on. Um, you can add another layer if you know how to sew, you know what or you know someone that does know how to sew, you can add an extra layer to that mask. Or when you order them or buy them from the store, just make sure that they say that they have that three plus layer and then do the lighter test. But do not throw them away. There are still solutions, still choices. Any mask is better than no mask. So right now I'm gonna show you what my mask collection is look like. Like I said, we go above and beyond to stay safe and protected. We're all vaccinated, boosted up, but we wanna, we vowed from the beginning to stay vigilant, not take anything for granted, continue wearing masks, continue social distancing. We have disposable masks and sanitizer bottles right here by the door. We have a sign that says home is where we hang our mask. We have them in every car, every purse, every backpack. So just in case one breaks, we have another one or just if we ran out the house and forgot or just to have extras. So that's how we roll. But as far as our personal, personal very collection, we have them in our rooms. And so I have, I'm going to show you what my mask collection looks like. And then I'm going to take it down. I'm going to put it right here and we're going to move forward with the lighter test. So here we go. So this is my face mask cloth collection that I have in my room. Like I said, we have our own personal collections in our room and in the living room by the door and in the cars and purses and stuff, we have the disposable ones. So um, I'm gonna start with my collection to see how good it is um, and which ones I need to maybe get rid of or double up on, stuff like that. So as you see here, I have, these are my shimmery ones, which they do have material on the other side. Sorry, that's lipstick stain. It is very clean. I wash them every night when I use them, but I have these lipsticks that don't come off and they kind of stain the mask. And so um, that's what that is. But if it's hanging up here, it's because it's been washed and cleaned. So no problems there. So these are my shimmery masks. I thought if you were gonna wear masks, Number one thing is we're saving lives. We're keeping ourselves, our family, 
you know, and anybody that we come around safe and protected, it's saving lives. So that's the number one positive thing. The second thing is if we're going to wear masks, let's make something else positive out of it by keeping it stylish and trendy and cute and you know making it fun since we have to wear them and then if we're saving lives at the same time that is amazing so that's how i see it so i started um getting these masks so i love anything that's shimmering blingy so i got these like i said they have the cloth on the other side i have a silver one i have a beautiful red one um, and then I have like this royal blue one, which is so pretty. And these are a little bit different, but they also have the same type of cloth on the back. Um, and then you have another one here. So these are like my shimmery and blingy ones. Now these I got, but when I order them, they clearly said that this will not protect you by itself because it's see-through. You can completely blow through it. So they said just to wear this on top of another mask, an N95, a regular disposable mask, to make sure you get the protection that you need. This is just to make it fun, like if you're going to a club or you're going out at night or you're going to a special event, a wedding or birthday or whatever, and you want to be glitzy and glammy and, and cute, this is just to put over another mask, not to wear by itself. It completely warns you. So I knew that when I got them and I thought, okay, that sounds good. I wear a mask underneath and this on type and it's cute and, and glamorous and all that good stuff. So I got a few of those. I got this blue one and here's like a lavender one. And then I have a baby pink one, a white one, a multicolored one, like the yellow and pinks are in here and then there's a neon um green and then i have an orange one and a yellow one and stuff like that these are mainly either celebrities that i love or they have bible verses or they have some type of wording or something on them like this one says boss this one i just got it says mother of the bride which i just wore for the bridal shower and i'm also going to be wearing it for the bachelorette and the rehearsal dinner and then i have uh, elegant lace one that was made to match my dress for the wedding for my sister-in-law so and then I have Selena here and I have the zipper one that I just got to try to when you go to a restaurant or wherever you're eating or drinking something and you don't feel comfortable taking the mask off you can just open the zipper and eat and drink through that doesn't work as good as we wanted it to but hey it's better than nothing we have my Puerto Rican flag mask on with the um cookie. We have Jenny Rivera ones. Um, this is a plain one. So is this one. Where are all these plain? Yeah, they're plain black ones. We have another Selena one, another Jenny Rivera one, um, a Biden Harris one. So these over here are mainly like autism awareness one. This one says fully vaccinated. You're welcome. Um, this is a Bible burst one. Love never fails. We have another one here. I am always with you. And it has the scripture that goes to that. We have the John Lewis um, famous quote that he says. We have another I can't breathe from the George Floyd. Um, such, you know, cause fully vaccinated. You're welcome again. Namaste at home. So that you know the namaste from the yoga thing. But it like, nah, I'm going to stay at home. So it's really cute. We have the sunflower one, the LBGTQ community one, the American flag one, and the autism one. I think that's the same one. Or do I got two? Yeah, I got two of them. So that's pretty much what it consists of. So now I'm going to take all these down and we're going to do the lighter test. Okay, so you just saw my mask collection, what it looks like, all that great stuff which ones I have. So I have taken them all down and I have piled them right here. They're all right there piled up right in front of me. So I'm going to start the test and it's like I said, it's the lighter test. Some have pockets like this one right here. It says fully vaccinated. You're welcome. A little sarcastic, but true. The they come with these pockets. Now, most of them that I order from Amazon have those pockets. And they provide you with the filters, which this is the filter. And it says PM 2.5. I don't know what that exactly means, but it's the same on both sides. They come in like this pack. And they come with several of them in the pack. 
So most of them do. So I love that when it comes with that. So, but I'm going to do the test without the filter to see how good it is on its own. So let's try it. I love this mask because it covers completely from top to bottom. It's breathable. I can talk easily in it. Um, so yeah, it's great. So let's start the test. I even got close. So do you see that? And I'm blowing as hard as I can. It has passed the test. I'm so excited. I like these. This one, you can't adjust, so it is a little loose. And with time, we wash our mask as soon as we're done at the end of the night. So it's a little loose, but I still love it because it protects really well. Like I said, it's breathable and I can talk easy. I don't need that filter, but... Um, I like that I have the option. So if I'm ever in a, like a question, I'm putting the filter in. If I'm ever in a questionable place where I know people are not vaccinated and they do not want to wear the mask, and even though this protects me perfectly without it, I, for peace of mind, I still will put it. So I'm going to show you how it would act with the lighter test with the filter. So we already know it works without the filter, but just to show you. <sighs> of course... I didn't even need to do that, but I just wanted to do that for like peace of mind just to see if those filters work. But as you can see, this mask worked without it. This is the same mask, but I'm going to just test it just to make sure that nothing's changed. Perfect. Pass the test. Now I'm going to do the autism awareness one. This one doesn't have a pocket, so you can't put a filter. If you had to add an extra layer, I, you can sew it if you know someone that knows how to sew. I like this mask because it's so soft. And it covers from top to bottom. It's definitely breathable, easy to talk through. This you can probably pinch it a little bit if you want it a little bit snuggy. But it works for me. I love it. Pass the test. Oh my God. So I just blew in them. So maybe I will have to wash them all over again. So this one is a namaste. I got this one at Walmart days at Walmart. So you know how the, you know, what is it? Yoga and it's namaste. Well, this one says the same thing, but it's meant to say, no, nah, I'm going to stay at home. So that's what it says. It is pretty darn thick. So I would be surprised if it didn't pass the test. It has the ties to adjust. So let's try it. <gasps> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Let's try that again. I don't know if I let my finger go up. <gasps> let me just try it even lighter. That is not good because this one seems so thick, way thicker than those other ones. I mean, I wish you could feel it through the camera and it doesn't have a pocket to add a filter. So this will be one that would qualify that if I really want to be 100% protective to double up. That is shocking. That is shocking. I'm so shocked. Oh my God. Like, I knew that won't pass a test. So this one's the John Lewis one where his famous quote, get in, tr get in trouble, good trouble, necessary trouble. It is really soft. It has the pocket. We're going to do the test without the pocket. Lord be with us. <laughs> pass the test, and it's thinner than that one. But I guess it all depends on what type of layering it is. Um, so you know if it passed the test without the filter, it's definitely going to be protected with the filter. Oh, my God. One shocker. But so far, so good. So we have this one that's a Bible quote. It says, I am with you always, Matthews 28, 20. It is really, really thick. This is lipstick stain that is not dirty. Um, it's really, really thick. So I would think these would be the ones. So let's see. So it did go out when I blew really hard, but I was trying to blow normally just to see if maybe it has a chance. 
So it does move the flame, even though if I blew normally, it doesn't um, shut the flame off. But yeah, this would be one that you can also double up to be extra safe. But I feel like if you're just talking, it wouldn't, you wouldn't need to double up. Um, somebody would really have to blow. Um, so this is a questionable one. Anyway, we have another one that's the same thing, Bible Burst. Let's just do it just to be safe than sorry. So that's blowing normally. So yeah, as thick as these are, that these would be one. Um, like I said, I'm vaccinated, boosted up, so I'm very protected. So wearing this mask is a double armor. So I wouldn't really like crazy worried if I didn't double up on it. Um, unless I'm in like really risky, crazy places, then yeah, because it did blow the light out. So questionable, my God. Oh, let me try it with the um, disposable mask and doubling up. See if that does help, it makes a difference. I have a di disposable mask here. So see, if you have a mask that fails the lighter test, but you love that mask, like I said, no mask, any mask is better than no mask. So if that's what you got, go ahead and put it on. And if you're vaccinated, you're pretty good. Um, and just know that it could be better, but that's all you got, that's all you got. But if you can, use one of these lighter, see how light and thin it is, disposable mask, to double up like that, and then you'll be 100% protected as well. So, oh my God. So these are questionable. So let me show you what it's like with just a disposable mask. So it did kind of turn it off, not the first two times. So it doesn't turn off regularly, but if I push, and even then. So even though this disposable mask is really, really thin, it must have some type of layering that still is pretty darn good. It blew it out one time when I blew really, really, really super hard, but the rest of the times it didn't blow. So these disposable masks are very protective, very good. Of course, you could use them to double up whether you put it underneath or on top. So yeah. So the next one is this one. It's the I Can't Breathe one. It is thinner than the Bible Versus one, but it's really soft. Got these from Amazon. And this one I could tell. It is not super thin as a disposable mask, even though the disposable mask protected 100%, but it is thinner than the other ones. So yeah, this would be one that I would definitely double mask if I had to. Um, if I'm just going to go out and about and I'm not really going to have any conversations with anybody or be close, that's what you have to be careful with. Anybody that you come in contact with that you're having conversations or people are going to cough or sneeze or anything around you. When you're going in stores, you're going for what you're going and you're coming out. So if you can't double it, it won't be bad. Like I said, any mask is better than no mask. I, I do feel protected, even though I blew the candle out. But like I said, if I'm going to risky areas, I'm definitely going to double up because it did not pass the test. Um, this one says I can't breathe. It's for the George Floyd cause. This one is not going to pass the test. <sighs> So, but this one's really thin as well. So this one be one that I would definitely, with that thin layer, I would double protect. Unless, like I said, I'm going in and out and I'm not really going to conversate or be around anybody. Um, then I would be okay with it, even though it blew the lighter out. But, um, yeah. So this one has a pocket. It's one of my shimmery ones. It's so, so beautiful. I love this one. I wore this one today with my outfit. So I can put the filter in. <sighs> yep, it didn't pass the test. So this one is the one that I would definitely need to put the filter in. I didn't have the filter this morning. I was at a, my doctor's appointment. Um, 
we don't go close, close. Well, we didn't go close today because he wasn't like examining me. He was just showing me my MRI results. So I just put the filter in here. See if it makes a difference with this one. Oh. So that's weird. Okay, I had to adjust the mask a little bit. So with the filter, this is 100% protective. Without the filter, it's um, a little less. But um, like I said, it depends on where you're going, who you're going to be around. Um, these are beautiful. But it didn't pass a lighter test. So to be 100% safe, you must double up. Um, so it just depends where I'm going. Um, this is another blingy one. I'm going to try that one. So this is another one. Depending where you're going to be, it did not completely pass the lighter test. It is a very thin layering on the other side of this. Even though this side feels thick, this is a thin layering behind it. Um, depending, again, where I'm going and who I'm going to be around, I could um, go without the filter and know that I'm going to be okay. But if I'm going to be talking and eating and stuff around people, this is the mask to double up. It did not pass the test. So I'm not going to, I'm going to do the rest real quick. So this is the same exact one as this one, but this one passed the test, this one didn't. So these I trust, like I said, to go in and out, to not going to conversate with anybody or talk around any, you know, eat or talk around anybody or be in close contact. I think you could do just fine with just these, especially if you're vaccinated. So that makes a big difference. But if you're going to be in conversations and around people in close contact, I would just double up to be safe. This one didn't pass the test. This one did, but they're the same exact mask. So go figure. Um, so I'm going to do the red one of those same one, just red. So you determine if you're vaccinated, if you're vaccinated, you got that super duper protection that you can just go with this again, not in close contact, not conversating, but to be safe, then sorry, have that extra protection. You must double up on these kind. Now these, this is the same one, just silver. So if I normally breathe, I notice with these, it doesn't turn the flame off. So that's the same if you're normally talking to someone and you're not that close in each other's face, it will be fine without the double masking. But if you want that extra protection and be a little bit more safer, of course, these also qualify to double it up because some passed the test, some didn't. Depending on hard I blew, that made a difference. They don't have the pocket on these one to filter it out in case you didn't want to double it and you just wanted that filter so let's see this one now it's my breath so i don't really have to wash these again because i'm just blowing through them um so if i normally breathe it doesn't really blow the flame up but if i'm blowing super hard then it does so again this is a little bit different than this one. You can see from the design. This is a little bit more fuller. This is a little bit more spaced out. Um, like I said, vaccinated. You have that super duper armor protection. Don't need to double it. If you're not going to be in and out, not conversating, you could be just fine with this one. If you're going to be in risky areas, close contact, conversating, double it up. So same with this one. So iffy on that one. Normal blowing and super blowing. So, you know, like I said, depending on the situation, but they didn't completely. So far, the only ones that have passed completely the lighter test are these three. See this one? This one is like a thick, thick layer. This is lipstick stain. Um, no pocket to put a filter in. This one passed the test completely. Um, 
It is really thick. It's almost like a canvas type of material, but both materials on both sides are extra thick, so it passed the test. Um, so don't need to double up on that one. This is a sunflower one. It also has the pocket. If I wanted to double to add the filter. <laughs> pass the test. Very good. But if I wanted to put that filter, I have that option. This is lipstick stain, by the way. This is not dirty. <laughs> so we have the flag ones. Let's see. This is, let me show you the material. This one's pretty thick as well. I can fill it on both sides. It doesn't have a pocket for a filter. I like the ones with the filter pocket because if you just want that quick added protection without doubling up with two masks, you have the look of one mask, but you are protected because you have that filter. Yep, all depends on the situation. It didn't completely pass the lighter test, but it does depend on the situation. So that one goes in that pile. So I'm not gonna do this one. We already did the autism awareness mask. That did pass. I know I'm doing the same of some of them, but this one I feel sure, but let me just go ahead and do it. Again, pass the test on the second one. Try my boss one. This is okay. It's not too thick or too thin. It's okay. So if you do normal blowing, you're okay. If you're doing super hard blowing, so it's up to you. Again, depends on the situation and if you're vaccinated. So this one didn't completely pass the test, but it's there. This is the mother of the bride one. This one does have a pocket for the filter. This one passed the test. Protect it, got it from Amazon. It does have that filter. If I wanted to put the filter, this is lip stain. And then we have, let's try a Selena one. All of them have lip stains. This one also has a pocket for the filter. There we go, I turned it off. This passed the test, thank you, Selena. It has the filter if I wanted that out of protection, but it passed the test. Um, this is the breast cancer awareness one, also has the filter pocket. It's very soft. See how this one hangs? A lot of people don't like that. It does have the nose pincher. So you can have that sewn like this to be more snuggly. So this one, I recommend the filter. It is very thin and it does have the pocket for it. So you might as well use it no matter what the situation is. So it didn't pass the test. This one is just a plain one that I have. So, didn't pass the test. This one doesn't have a pocket, so you would have to double up. Again, again, I can't stress enough. Depends on if you're vaccinated or what situation is. If you're just going in and out, not having a conversation, you can kind of get away with it. Um, but just so you know. This is a zipper one that I just got for eating. So, like, if you want to eat or drink, you just open it up. Put your spoon or your fork through there or your straw, whatever, your cup. Drink without having to take your mask off if that scares you because it scares me. So it passed the test. So there you go. We have another playing one. Let's try this one. Didn't pass the test. It's up to you, how protected you already are, if you want to double up and what situation you're going in. This is the Puerto Rican flag one. It has a pocket if I want it out of filter. Good option. This is those ones that are wide that protect from top to bottom. I love it. 
Class of tests, yay! But I have that filter pocket just in case, but it passed the test, so no need. This is another plain one. <sighs> Double up. <laughs> Here's my other Selena one. It has a pocket for the filter. Pass the test, but we have that pocket. Yay, Selena. So we have the Biden-Harris one that I got when the elections were happening. Pass the test. Also has a pocket for the filter just in case. Yay. Um, then we have another Jenny Rivera one. Also has a pocket just in case. My girl passed the test, but you have that pocket. Now, these are the ones that I said that I bought that they clearly warned that this is not to be worn by itself. It's to be worn over another mask just to kind of go with your outfit, you know, be glitzy and glammy and blingy for whatever party or event you're at, just so it's not that plain, ugly, disposable mask. You have something to make it look even pretty. So I'm going to show you. You can see through this. You can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera, my lips or my nose, you can see through it if I'm looking in the mirror. So you know that's already a red flag um, to wear it by itself. I can feel the air coming out of my mouth. That's another red flag. But like I said, they did warn you that this is not to be worn by itself. It is to be doubled. Of course, you will put this one on top because it's the blingy, glamoury type of one and you put your um your disposable mask or whatever other mask on the bottom it's just to make it look pretty and glitzy and glammy um so oh did i i didn't even do the lighter test <sighs> easily <sighs> see even with just the normal breathing so this one's just to put on top as like decorations it will give you a protection on top of another one because it's a it's thick and it's a layer any more layers more the protective, you know, more protected you are. So this is a layer that will be extra that will protect you, but on top of another mask. This one for sure, because look, I don't know if you can see my hand through it. Or let me see if you can see my watch. I don't know. I could see through it. I could clearly see my fingers and everything. So these are the same thing as well. This one is even more see-through. I don't know. Can you see my... Yeah, this one, maybe because this one was darker. But same thing. <sighs> Even regular breathing. Or just talking. See how I'm talking? And the flame is moving. So yeah, this is just a decorative mask. It will give you a layer of protection because it's a layer. It's a mask. So we'll give you, but it will only, this one cannot under any circumstances be worn by themselves under any, and I've seen people try to do it. It cannot, this one for sure needs to be on top of another mask for sure. And so I'm just going to go through the, all of them real quick just to show you. Yep, I'm just going to take you through each of them. I got a little tangled up here. They're really beautiful. I totally recommend you getting them so when you go out or have a fancy dinner or whatever, to wear them, to put on top of your bottom mask, to just go with your outfit, match your outfit up, be glitzy and glammy. Yep. I'm just going to go through all of them real quick just to show you. more. Here's the white one. And last but not least, the orange one. See how beautiful colors and how beautiful the blingy thing looks like? But this is like, if you wear this by yourself, I mean, it's a layer. So obviously it protects better than your face being uncovered. 
obviously, but it is not good to wear by itself. You're not getting the protection. These are these. These are just for looks, for glammy, for decorations on top of your other. Sorry, I dropped one mask. So yeah, these didn't pass the test by itself according to the lighter test, but like I said, some have pockets. You could put that filter in. Um, some you just have to double up. And I know it's hard to breathe through one mask, depending on the thickness of the mask. So just put a layered disposable mask underneath or on top, and you'll be fine. These did pass the test, which is the Jenny Rivera, the Biden-Harris one, Selena one, my Puerto Rican flag one, this plain one here. The zipper eating one, the Selena one, Mother the Bride one, Autism Awareness one, Sunflower Pattern one, LBGTQ Community one, the John Lewis, Get Into Trouble, Good Trouble, Necessary Trouble, another Autism Awareness mask, Fully Vaccinated, You're Welcome, and another Fully Vaccinated, You're Welcome. So, yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 masks pass out of 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So I have a total of 40 cloth masks, um, 16 passed. So the majority didn't, but that's okay because we have options. Like I said, doubling up on mask. If you don't want it to be too thick because they're two masks, get the thin disposable mask, either go on top or the bottom. Um, if you have that pocket, putting those filters in there, um, or just ordering ones or making ones. If you know how to sew, you know someone that sews, that is that three triple layer, do the test and move forward from there. So I just wanted to do this video for you. I know it's a long video, I'm so sorry, but um, I just wanted to do this for you. I've been wanting to do it because so many people out there um, that wear masks, they don't know what's the right mask to wear you know, and if you have masks, do you throw them away or are they still able to be, um, salvageable, um, salvageable? Yeah. To be savable by having other options. So yes, you have other options, either doubling up or if they have pockets, a filter. So don't throw them away. They're definitely still at good use. And so you have two options right there. And like I said, the third one is buying ones that do have that triple protection or that you can make them or know someone's going to make. So you have three options to still save them um, or definitely get the N95 mask. In fact, I'm going to test an N95 mask to see how that works real quick. I know this video is going to be long. Um, but yeah, again, any mask is better than no mask. So do whatever you can. But if you do have masks, do not throw them away. I gave you just three options, doubling up, filter if there's a pocket, and just you can sew on an extra layer. If you know how to sew, you know someone that knows how to sew. So let me get the N95 one. So I have three different N95 ones. These are in N95s. They were given to me by an ambulance company that were actually giving them away when we were going through the fires. I live in Northern California. So that's where I got these from. A lot of people are like, are those N95s? They don't look like they are. The box said it. They tell me it says it on here somewhere as well. N95. Right there. Where is it? N95 right there. So then you would take this one. I haven't put one of these on in a while. These, this is the pincher right here. Smells weird. Something to that effect. I think one goes way up here. I hope I got it right. Oh no, the pinchers are down here, or up here too. Let me do the test. <laughs> so Daphne is protected by itself. I'm gonna keep this one for me. I could reuse this one because I just blew in it, so 
definitely for me. I don't want it to get mixed up. I have boxes of them. This is what I have left of those boxes. So I can't hang them. These are not able to be hung like I have on my sanitation station. But I have it in a special drawer that I keep all the N95 masks, any extra disposable masks, sanitation bottles, you name it. This one we got, this is one that the government was giving to the pharmacies. We got this one at Walmart. This is an N95 mask as well. Um, let's see how this one goes. Let me see if it says it on here at all. I don't see it, but these are the ones that the pharmacies are giving out. They have that metal pincher, that good quality metal pincher. So I'm thinking it goes something to this effect. So this is a um, N95s that the pharmacy got from the government. <laughs> Definitely a winner. I knew that, but you know, you always wanted to make sure, you always want to do your own research, your own tests, just to make sure. Um, so yeah, so this one's from the government. It looks like a cottony fill that the government's giving out to all the pharmacies. This one I got from Walmart. This one I got from the ambulance company. Like I said, they gave it to us a whole, like two boxes of them from the ambulance company. Actually, they had given us four, but we were going through a lot of fires, so we went through a lot of them. My kids have asthma, so my daughter needed them. She was um, admitted to the hospital twice because of the fires, and so both of my kids needed to have them on, and we did too because you can see all the smoke dust on the cars. And so they were giving it to us back then. Who was to know we were going to go through a pandemic? So I had extra boxes left, so definitely N95s. Then we have this kind that was sent to us. I don't know if it was my insurance company or what kind, um, somebody promoting a company. Let me get the scissors. So this one feels a little bit the the fabric is different um this feels more like a a cottony a, well it's like a just you know i don't know how to explain it it's two different feels but they're designed the same and they're both certifiably in 95s and it gives you instructions on here on how to put that mask on i don't know if you can see the instructions there this one looks more comfortable And this would go down on your neck too. Here's the pinchers. Pass the test, of course. So these are the N95s, the ultimate, best, most protective mask out there. But like I said in the beginning, they were saying to save them for the doctors and the nurses um, because the hospitals were overloaded to max um, capacity they needed them people were dying so they were like for the us regular people to wear um to make masks just make sure it is thick enough to be protective and to make them if we knew how to sew knew someone else who knew how to sew or to buy disposable ones wherever we could go to get a hold of any type of mask because like i like they said any mask is better than no mask to get what we could to keep ourselves safe and protected and then as time went by of course we were then allowed to get n95s even though i already had these because of the fires i have several boxes um and then um, with, well, with time, we were allowed to purchase them as well and have them on hand. I think I got several of these. I have quite a few of these, maybe like six of these that I can't remember. I got them for a, from a certain company. I think it was my insurance company. Um, they also gave me cloth masks that were really good. I don't have any more of those. So the N95s are, like I said, number one, completely the best. Um, but we also have other options because N95s are not easy to get a hold of, of course, because the doctors and nurses are still using them. We are still navigating this pandemic. So they're not cheap and they're not easy to get a hold of, but these cloth masks does work. Don't throw them away. Like I said, if they have a pocket, put the filter in it. If it doesn't, double mask it. Um, and if not, if you can't do or have someone that you know that you that knows how to sew or that you know how to sew to add added layers or go ahead and wear what you got even though it's not 100 percent because any mask is better than no mask i can't say that enough and if you're going to be just in and out you're not really going to have conversations or be in close contact like at a restaurant or something i think you'll be fine so just wanted to kind of show you um how to do the lighter tests which ones 
passed, which ones didn't, and what are your options, what are your choices, and what I highly recommend. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. I hope it was helpful. I'm sorry that it is long, but I think this is the one that qualifies to be long because it's well needed. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the notification bell that gives you heads up on every time I upload a video. Um, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. So until my next kitty, oh my God, I'm losing my mind. So into my next video, take care, stay safe, and stay blessed.